Hello everybody, my name is Copix, and welcome back to another episode of Undertale. I know, it's been like two weeks, and I didn't think it'd be that long, but hey, we're back. This is the setup I have, I guess, going right now. I have a couple of colors. I would like to shift over if you wouldn't mind. I should probably put this over to this side right now. I'm sorry, I, I bumped into my thing. And uh, I'm trying to remember my setup from what I've had. I'd like to get this as close as possible so that you can have the best experience since 1987. You know what I mean, bro? Uh, I'm still checking my audio because I just set up uh, my two cords, my two XLRs that I had going in in my studio setup. I just set it up. I don't quite know how it works yet. Uh, yet. So, uh, without, I, I, I guess, without further ado, we're just going to, uh, F4? Yeah. Let's see how much of this I remember. None of it. I, n none of it. Um. Enter. And that can get off screen. And, uh. That's cool. So we saved here. And we're just gonna head on back. Um. Oh, Sands! It's a lump of snow with the word Sands written on it. In red mar- in red marker! Oh, okay. It's a snow papyrus. Papyrus! Um... I can turn myself down just a little bit. I'm sorry, I haven't... I'm- Ah, uh, No, 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 no! Oh, okay. Oh, I under- Okay! So, so. Oh, I have to stop this. Oh, good grief. Oh, okay. I see, I did something wrong. So, if I'm just gonna keep going, it's basically just a circle. So, I almost have it right, but not. Exactly. Okay, so what I have to do is I have to start here and go all the way down. Psh. Give me something easy every once in a while. My goodness, Globber. I don't know where I'm going. Holy God knows where I've been. I'm a devil out of run. A six gun lover. A candle in the wind. Wow. I'm gonna go down. I'm going down in a blaze of glory. Okay, well, Sands is there, so I don't know if this is, uh... Oh, Sans, buddy. Buddy, old pal, friend. What's up? Nothing. I... Oh. No, I don't... I shall undecorate you. You removed the lenticular bookmark from the smug teen winking. That's a little better. You're welcome. Oh, stop trying to hit me. This is really dumb. Can I gift you something? That's true. Ah, oh, you shouldn't have. Bye. Say, are you following me? Nah, man, I'm not following you. That's weird. Okay, so 
That kind of seems like it's a continuation that way. And I don't want to do that. I want to do not that. They're both continuing! Okay, I guess this is the not continue. Look at me, making decisions all by myself. to stay bright do I I just trying to interact with everything I can it turns out I cannot interact very well with everything and I guess I'm gonna go visit link it's a door hut 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 ah! oh, I thought maybe I could uh, do that well I want these to be bright and you can't tell me otherwise I need to move my keyboard. Okay, cool. It's still a door. I thought I could do something cool. <sighs> no, I'm just trying to see if I can do anything. I want to get through the door. I just want to get through the door. What a tiny dog house. Wolf. Wolf, sweet wolf. <gasps> is it a Borkums? <gasps> it is a Borkums. Wolf, wolf. <gasps> oh. Henlo. It's the greater dog. I would like to pet. Too far away. You just pet the air. Oh, oh yikes. Oh, he can't play with me. Oh, yikes. Back in. I called the greater dog. I wish to play. You're not excited enough to play with. Okay, well then. If you're seeking affection, I shall pet ye. Ah, oh, good sheep. Oh, he's so cute. Then he wakes up. He's so excited. I shall play with you. Fix it all up. You're very tired. You rest his head on me. What? No, oh, that's bull crap. Oh, I'm not the entire weight. You're my movement slow. But you still haven't pet enough. Yikes. Okay, I spare. Probably should have done that a while ago. I understand that now. Oh, he's so cute. <gasps> he got his tail sticking out of his his armor. Like a cutesy cutie. Oh my. Human? This is your final and most dangerous challenge. Behold, the gauntlet of deadly terror. When I say the word, it will fully activate. 
Cannons will fire, spikes will swing, blades will slice. Each part will swing violently up and down. Only the tiniest chance of victory will remain. Are you ready? Because I am about to do it. Well, what's the hold up? Hold up? What hold up? I'm, I'm about to activate it now. That, uh, doesn't look very activated. Well, this challenge, it seems maybe too easy to defeat the human with. Yeah, we can't use this one. I'm a skeleton with standards. My puzzles are very fair. And my traps are expertly cooked. But this method is too direct. No class at all. Away it goes. Phew. What are you looking at? This was another decisive victory for Papyrus. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What's up, bud? I don't know what my brother's going to do now. If I were you, I would just make sure I understand blue attacks. Gotcha. Welcome to Snowden. Hello. Welcome to Snowden. Hello, welcome to Snowden. Use the box. Yes. I'm gonna put the snowman piece in there. Stick. I'll put the stick in there. X to finish. <laughs> Hello, traveler. How can I help you? Uh, five attack, which is, I think, is what I have. Manly bandana, F plus four defense of what I already have. It has abs on it. Oh, okay. Bicycle. Bicycle? Mmm. 11 HP, I can use it twice. Uh, cinnamon bun. It's your own recipe. Uh, well, that's great and all, but if I can use this... Well, no, not necessarily. Because I can't use it twice. Because that would be two turns. To just use it... Twice. I don't usually take that much damage, so I could- well... How much damage do I usually tank in a single thing if I'm really like... If I really need a lot? Usually if it's particularly hard, I... Take... I don't know how much I take. Not that much. I don't know. Eh... I don't know. Plus four more defense is nice, so I might... Buy that. You're welcome. And I'll get it. Take your time. I'll exit. Bye. Okay. Oh, so I can sell you some stuff. Some gosh darn heckins. Yes, I would like to. I'm gonna take the toy knife and the stick, and I'll sell you that ones. I don't know where it works where you come from. It's not a pawn shop. I don't know where it is where you're from. If I started spending money on old branches and used bandages, I'd be out of business in a jiffy. Oh, I can't sell anything. Pfft. Heck. Care to chat? 
Say hello. Hiya. Welcome to Snowden. I can't remember the last time I saw a fresh face around here. Where did you come from? The capital? You don't look like a tourist. Are you here by yourself? What do you do here? You want to know what I do here in Snowden? Grillby's has food, and the library has information. If you're tired, you can take a nap in the inn. That's right next door. My sister runs it. And if you're bored, you can sit outside and watch those wacky skeletons do their thing. There's two of them. Brothers, I think. They just showed up one day and asserted themselves. The town has gotten a lot more interesting since then. Well, why don't you tell me about the town? I think back to your history class. Think back to your history class. A long time ago, monsters lived in the ruins, back there in the forest. Long story short, we all decided to leave the ruins and he and head for the end of the caverns. Along the way, some fuzzy folk decided they liked the cold and set up camp in Snowden. Oh, and don't think about trying to explore the ruins. The door's been locked for ages. So unless you're a ghost or can burrow under the door, forget about it. So I need a key or have superior digging skills. I need my superior digging skills. Life is the same as usual. A little claustrophobic, but we all know deep down that freedom is coming, don't we? As long as we got that hope, we can grit our teeth and face the same struggles day after day. That's life, ain't it? Okay. Bye now. Come again sometime. I will. You're so nice. But uh, I'm going to have to uh, put in the toy knife and stick. Now all I have to do is... Okay, control. Got it. Item. Use. Okay. And I can go to here. And I can go to item. Faded ribbon. Info. Defense 3. Okay, so yeah, that is what that means. Let's go to item. Bicycle. Info. Heals 11 HP. It's a two-pronged popsicle. Oh! So you can eat it twice! So you can do a heck and eat it twice! Yeah! I'm gonna put my faded ribbon in there. What? No! Okay, I'm gonna save. Save! Save! Don't want to talk to the other side of town? Try the under snow tunnels. They're efficiently laid out. Okay, that's cool. Um, I don't know if I necessarily want to go in the inn. Welcome to Snowed Inn. Snowed Inn. Ha 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 ha. Snowden's premier hotel. One night is 800G. Stay or leave. Would I want to stay or leave? I think I'm gonna not. I'm gonna leave. Well, feel free to come back anytime. I will. Mom says that sleeping can recover your health. Above your maximum HP. Maximum HP. Uh, heart. Ha heart point? What, I don't remember what Flowey said. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not a real man. 
Isn't my little cinnamon just the cutest? Buns, buns are so adorable. Teehee. I'm gonna go to this guy. That lady over there. Something's about her. Something about her disturbs me. Awful teens tormented a local monster by decorating its tree like horns. So we started giving that monster presents to make it feel better. Now it's a tradition to put presents underneath the decorated tree. That makes sense. Well, hello. Yo, you're a kid too, right? I can tell, cause you're wearing a striped shirt. Well, yes, I am a kid. This town doesn't have a mayor. If there's even a problem with the skill, if there's ever a problem, a skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. That's politics. Grillbees. I'm going grillbees. Oh, hey, I know all of you. Jukebox is broken. Big sad. Hello. The capital's getting pretty crowded, so I've heard, so I've heard they're going to start moving here. Sorry, I had a hiccup. Hmm. I don't want to see the erasure of our lo the erasure of our local culture. But I definitely want to see some city slickers slip into their butts. Slip onto their butts. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know. Why am I recording this at this time? Grilbs said that he'd offer you a glass of water, but he doesn't touch that stuff. I understand, man. I get you. Right, 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 I got that, but I want to talk to this guy. I put out a line for some girls today. Someone told me that there are plenty of fish in the sea. Well, I'm not taking that seriously. I'm literally going to make out with the fish. Those dogs are part of the Royal Guard. The elite military group led by Undyne. She's rude, loud, and beats up everybody who gets in her way. There's no wonder all the kids want to be like her when they grow up. Hmm, isn't human food different from monster food? It does things like spoil. And when you eat it, it passes all the way through your whole body disgusting. I'd love to try it sometime. No matter where I go, it's the same menu, the same people. Help! I want new drinks and hot guys. <clears throat> I'm thinking of getting a spiked collar to show off my personality. It makes a statement like, Attach a leash to me, and take me for a walk, please. Yep, me too, buddy. With ten space to pull you every day, respect. I wish those skeletons would grab with a bone. We love bones. Those are nice. Okay, thank you. I wonder if I can go through the door. Can I go through the door? You can't go through the fire exit because you're not made of fire. Okay, I understand. Kind of. Not really, but okay. It's a carefully decorated tree. Some of the presents are addressed from Santa to various locals. Wow. Well. I'm just gonna keep on walking. Keep on a walking. 
Come on, damn what I'm talking. I'm doing damn to me. Everyone is always laughing and cracking jokes, trying to forget our modern crises. Dreariness, crowding, lack of sunlight. I would join them, but I'm not very funny. We all know the underground has problems, but we smile anyway. Why? We can't do anything, so why be morse, morose about it? I can't read. It's okay. I'm learning. The library. That look in your eye. You're someone that has trouble doing crosswords, aren't you? Not really. I'm pretty good at crosswords. <coughs> when I was younger, my teachers gave me word searches when I, they ran out of assignments. I thought they were a waste of time. But look at me now. I'm the number one word search creator in the entire underground. I love working on the newspaper. There's so little to report that we just fill it in with comics and games. Welcome to the library. Yes, we know. The sign is misspelled. I didn't notice that. Wait a minute. Libraryby. It's a school book report about monster funerals. Monster funerals, technically speaking, are cool as heck. When monsters get old and kick the bucket, they turn into dust. At funerals, we take that dust and spread it on that person's favorite thing. Then their essence will live on, live on in that thing. Uh, am I at the page minimum yet? I'm kind of sick of writing this. Fair enough. Well, monsters are mostly made of magic, humans, human beings are mostly made of water. Humans, with their physical forms, are far stronger than us. But they will never know the joy of expressing themselves through magic. They'll never get a bullet pattern birthday card. Here I am, writing this book. A person comes in and picks up a book. They start reading it. Oh, sorry. Am I still writing that one? <laughs> because they are made of magic, monsters' bodies are attuned to their soul. If a monster doesn't want to fight, its defenses will weaken. And the crueler the intentions of the enemies, the more their attacks will hurt us. Therefore, if a being with a powerful soul struck with the desire to kill. Um, let's end the chapter here. Monster history part four. Fearing the humans no longer, no longer, we moved out of our old city home. We braved the harsh, cold, damp swampland and searing heat until we reached what we now call our capital, new home. Again, our king is really bad at names. Love, hope, compassion, this is what people say monsters' souls are made of. But the absolute nature of soul is unknown. After all, humans have proven their souls don't need these things to exist. Oh, snap. It's a mailbox overflowing with unread junk mail. Just like my inbox. This mailbox is labeled papyrus. Look inside. It's empty. Oh, rip. So I would assume that that is Sans who gets a bunch and then papyrus. Uh, poor, poor papyrus. Poor buddy. It's locked. Oh, okay. Now I'm not going to go in there yet. It's locked from the inside. Human, allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. Feelings like 
the joy of finding another pasta lover, the admiration for another's puzzle-solving skills, the desire to have a cool, smart person think you are cool. These feelings, they must be what you are feeling right now. I can hardly imagine what it must be like to feel that way. After all, I am very great. I don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not. You shall be lonely no longer. I, the great papyrus, will be your... No. No, this is this is all wrong. I can't be your friend. You are a human. I must capture you. Then I can fulfill my lifelong dream. Powerful, popular, prestigious. That's Papyrus, the newest member of the Royal Guard. Why not? What? F flirting? So you finally reveal your ultimate feelings? Well, I'm a skeleton with very high standards. I can make spaghetti. Oh no! You're not meeting... <laughs> you're meeting all my standards. <laughs> I guess this means I have to go on a date with you? Let's date. L later, after I capture you. Aww. Oh no! Let's date l later, a after I capture you. Okay. No, I'm not gonna fight, buddy. Then, let's see if you can handle my fabled blue attack. I'm blue now. What, is, what does that mean? That's my attack. <laughs> I'm blue now. I'm not gonna think about that dating thing. No, 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 <laughs> no, I don't wanna. Ugh. Oh, man. Okay, fine. Wasn't great. I, I don't want to fight. Can I? Can I not fight? I'm just gonna keep doing this, I guess. I'm going to make you use your special attack. Okay, that was close. You can almost taste your future popularity. He does like to say nye he 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 he. Yikes. No, you don't have ears. I'm sure.
I'm sure you do. Ugh. Smells like bones. Send it to the carriage zone? I always call it the garage. You're in the doghouse now. <laughs> Snow from Papyrus. Sorry, I have to lock you in the guest room until Undyne arrives. Feel free to make yourself at home. Refreshments and accommodations have been provided. Nearly yours, Papyrus. It's a squeaky chew toy. Thanks, bud. It's too small for me to sleep on. Unfortunately, it's just dry food. Thanks, buddy. All right, I'll, I'll see you later. Where could that human have gone? Oh, wait, it's right in front of me. Hello. I was worried that I had got that you had gotten lost. It sure is a relief to know that you're right here. Oh, wait a second. You're not supposed to escape. Get back there. date later after I capture you. I guess I'm gonna have to fight Pappy. Oh, I forgot. Oh, heck. Paradise spaghetti or Yikes. Why are you even at me, bro? Yikes.
That was like direct middle. Oh wait, I forgot what button I was pressing for a second. <laughs> Yelly me. Yikes. Oh yikes. I'll fight one more time. Behold your special attack. What the heck? That's my special attack? Hey, you stupid dog! Do you hear me? Stop munching on that bone! What, what are you doing? Come back here with my special attack! Oh well. I'll just use a really cool regular attack. Shoot! No! 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 I don't like it at all. Yikes! No! No! Puppers! Puppers! No! Puppers! No! No! Dude! What up? Well, it's clear you can't defeat me. Yeah, I see you shaking in your boots. Therefore, I, the great Papyrus, elect you to elect to grant you pity. I will spare you, human. Now's your chance to accept my mercy. Thanks, buddy. Yoo hoo hoo! I can't even stop someone as weak as you. Undyne's going to be disappointed in me. I'll never join the Royal Guard, and my friend Quantity will remain stagnant. What should you say? Let's be friends. Really? You want to be friends? With me? Well then, I guess... I guess I can make an allowance for you. Wowie! I haven't had our... F we haven't had our first date. And I've already managed to hit the friend zone. Who knew all I needed? Who knew that all I needed to do to make pals? I don't know what that says. Was to oh, was to give people awful puzzles and then fight them. You taught me a lot, human. I hereby grant you permission to pass through, and I'll give you decision directions through the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern. Then. When you reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's the magical seal trapping us all underground. Anything you can enter through it, but nothing can exit. Except someone with a powerful soul. Like you. That's why the king wants to acquire a human. He wants to open the barrier with soul power. Then us monsters can return to the surface. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, you will have to pass through the king's castle. The king of all monsters. He is, well, a big fuzzy pushover. Everybody loves that guy. I am certain if you just say, excuse me, Mr. Dreamer, can I please go home? He'll guide you right through the barrier himself. Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be at home being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and have that date. <laughs> Papyrus buddy, I would love to go on that date with you. Oh, I won't enter your mysterious shack. So, you came back to have a date with me? You must be really serious about this. I'll have to take you someplace really special. A place I like to spend a lot of time.
my house. Okay, buddy. Whatever you say. This is my brother's pet rock. He always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. Rock is covered in sprinkles. <laughs> Dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Sans, please pick up your sock. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Don't put it back down. Move it. Okay. You moved it two inches. Move it to your room. Okay. And don't bring it back. Okay. It's still here. Can you just say not to bring it back to my room? Forget it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's the best. I love him. I love him so much. It's a joke book. Take a look inside. Yes, why not? Inside of the joke book was quantum physics book. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. You look inside. There's another quantum physics book. You decide to stop. Okay, buddy. Okay. Whatever you say. Bet you this one's sans. Oh, it's not. That's my room. If you finish looking around, we could go and do whatever people do on the date. Go inside? Yes. Oh, look at that bed. Look at that. That's my bed. If I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive down a long highway. Wind in my hair, sun on my skin. Of course, that's just a dream. So instead, I cruise while I snooze. Hey, those are all the attacks I used on you. Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday. Even though it basically just happened. The internet. I'm quite popular there. I'm just a dozen away from a double-digit follow account. I feel like the math is off there, buddy. A jealous troll has besieged my online persona. Always sending me bad puns and a, in a goofy font. I bet you that sands. Just saying. That book's one of my favorites. Advanced puzzle construction for critical minds. That next book's another one of my favorites. Peekaboo with a fluffy bunny. <laughs> Me. The ending always gets me. I'm sure it does, buddy. I'm sure it does. Ah, yes. Action figures. A great reference for the theoretical battle scenarios. How do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from a chubby, smiling man who loves to surprise people. Yeah, that's right. Santa! Isn't that flag neato? Undyne found it at the bay. I think it's from the human world. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Well, I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from skeletons. <laughs> Buddy, I hate to tell you this, but you're absolutely right. There are no skeletons inside my closet. Except sometimes... Look in the closet. You know, why not? Clothes are hung up neatly inside. I'm sure they are. Let's go to your bro's room. A classic image. It always reminds me of what's important in life. The door is locked. Oh, okay. Well, Sans, I don't know what you're doing in there. Welcome to the scenic my house. Enjoy and take your time. Oh, that's my favorite game show. It says stay tuned for a new program, MTD. What? It's usually better than this. It's just a bad episode. Don't judge me. You touch the couch. It makes a jangling sound. You find a bunch of loose coins inside the couch. Yeah, 20 G. 20 bucks in coins? Bruh. That's the trash can. Feel free to visit it anytime. <laughs> Aha! Interested in my food museum, eh? 
please pursue my culinary art show. Half the fridge is filled with containers all labeled spaghetti. The other half contains nothing but empty bag of chips. An entire fridge, half of a fridge, is spaghetti, and the other half is an empty bag of chips. Yes. Impressed? I increased the height of my sink. Now I can fit more bones under it. Take a look-see. What? Catch that meddling canine. Curses. Sands, stop plaguing my life with incidental music. My brother always goes out to eat, but recently he tried baking something. It was like a quiche. That's what that says. I knew that. I knew it. I knew it. My my brain was going. It's a quiche, but filled with a sugary non-egg substance. How absurd. Quite. Yes, quite absurd. Look into the ceiling of my house, take a zzzz stuff. I don't think that's everything, buddy. Let's go find that canine. No. Buddy, let's go on that date. Heckin, heckin, let's do stuff. Let's, let's do it. Let's do a thing, bruh. So, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start the date? Begin the date? Yes! Okay, start. Dating start. Dating start. Here we are, on our date. I've actually never done this before, but don't worry. You can you can't spell prepared without several letters from my name. Quite true. I snagged an official dating rule book from the library. We're all we are ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one. Press C key on a keyboard for dating hub. Tuesday. Reel it in, population. Egg. Crime. Crime seems to be going a jittery, and the dog happens to be on the move. Reel it in levels. They are not that high, but sometimes they are. Population keeps going at a really weird level. That's kind of weird. And the all-important egg. Wowie! I feel so informed. I think we're ready for step two. Uh, step two. Ask them on a date. Ahem. Human, I, the great papyrus, will go on a date with you. I don't like the way you ask me. Fortunately, it only says to ask. I guess that means it's time for part three. Step three. Put on nice clothes to show you care. Wait a second. Wear clothing? What about that bandana around your head? You're wearing clothing right now. Not only that. Earlier today, you're also wearing clothing. No! Could it be? You've wanted a date for me from the very beginning! Yes, that's it. No. You planned it all! You're way better at dating than I am! No! Your dating power! My date power. Nyeh. Nyeh. Don't think you've bested me yet. I, the great papyrus, have never been beaten at dating and I never will. I can easily keep up with you. You see, I, too, can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear special clothes underneath my regular clothes, just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date. Behold! Yeah, what do you think of my secret style? Not a fan, dude. No! Your honesty! It shows how much you really care. <laughs> However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what I just said is invalid. 
this date won't escalate any further. Unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. Human souls are stronger than monster souls. But the souls of our shoes, on the other hand, are about the same. There's no secret to my legs. Just hard work and perseverance. My hat? My hat? My hat! <laughs> well then, you found my secret. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present just, just for you. Sure, why not? You shouldn't have. Oh my God. Do you know what it is? Of course I do. Spaghetti. <laughs> That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right. But oh, so wrong. This ain't any plain old pasta. This is an artesian, an artisan's work. Silk and spaghetti finely aged with an oak in a cask. When cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus, human. It's time to end this. There's no way you can go any further. I have to eat it. I have to. Yeah. You take a small bite. Your face reflexively scrunches up. The taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression. You must really love my cooking. And by extension, me. Maybe even more than I do. Ugh. Ugh. No! Human, it's clear now. You're madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Human, I want to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you. I, Papyrus. I, um... Boy, is it hot in here or is it just me? Uh, oh, shoot. Human, I... I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought because you flirted with me that I was supposed to go on a date with you. And on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I would be able to match your passion for me. But alas... The great papyrus have failed. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I've only drawn you deeper. Into your intense love for me, a dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No, wait, that's wrong. I can't fail at anything. Human, I'll help you through these trying times. I'll keep being your cool friend and act like this all never happened. After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose our friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. Because I don't have lips. And hey, someday you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for a second best. <laughs> Oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me at any time. Platonically. Well, gotta go. Yeah. Well, that stinks. Oh, well. Papyrus. I will always treasure our friendship. I will see you. I'll talk to you later. This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over.
Okay, cool. Yo! Are you sneaking out of... Are you sneaking out of... To see her, too? Awesome! She's the coolest, right? I want to be just like her when I grow up. Hey! Don't tell my parents I'm here. <laughs> okay, I'll try not to. Let's talk to Sans first. What? Haven't you seen a guy with two jobs before? Fortunately, two jobs means twice as many legally required breaks. So I'm going to grill bees. Wanna come? Sure, why not? Well, if you insist, I'll pry myself away from my work. <laughs> I understand, bro. Over here. I know a shortcut. Okay. Fast shortcut, huh? Hey, everyone. Hey, Sans. Oh, I can't. Greetings, Sans. Hey, Sansy. Hey, Sans. Were you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago? Nah. I haven't had breakfast. Nah, I haven't had breakfast in at least half an hour. You must be thinking of brunch. Here, get comfy. Whoops, watch where you sit down. Sometimes weirdos put whoopee cushions on the seats. Anyway, let's order. What do you want? Bruh. Bruh. I gotta go like a full-on burger. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Groovy. We'll have a double order of Berg. So, what do you think? Of my brother. He has... He has a good heart. But he's not exactly what I would call cool. Hey, pal. Sarcasm isn't funny, okay? My brother's a real star. He's the person who pushed me to get this sentry job. Maybe it's a little strange, but sometimes it's nice to have someone call you out on being lazy. Even though nothing could be further from the truth. Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? Yeah. Bone. Bone. Appetite. You tip the ketchup. The cap falls off, and the ketchup bottle pours onto your food. Whoops. Eh, hey, forget about it. You can have mine. I'm not hungry anyway. Aw, thanks, buddy. Anyway, cool or not, you have to agree Papyrus tries real hard. He does. Like, how he keeps trying to be part of the Royal Guard. One day, he went to the house of the head of the Royal Guard and begged her to let him in. Of course, she shut the door on him because it was ni midnight. But the next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him warrior training. It's a... Uh, Still a work in progress. Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you something. Spotlight. Have you ever heard of a talking flower? Yeah, I have. So you know all about it? The ego flower? They're all over the marsh. Say something to them and they'll repeat it over and over. What about it? Well, Papyrus told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes, when no one else is around, a flower appears and whispers things to him. Flattery, advice, encouragement. Predictions? Weird, huh? Someone must be using the Echo Flower to play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. Well... That was a long break. I can't believe I let you pull me away from work for that long. Oh, by the way, I'm flat broke. Can you foot the bill? It's just 10,000 G. Not really. Just kidding. Real be put it on my tab. By the way, I was going to say something, but I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought I'd let you know that I forgot to say something I was gonna say. 
Oh, well. Let's go this way. Wow, more of the town. You know what? You know what? Do you, do you even know? I don't think you know. Let's play Monsters and Humans. What does that even mean? Ah, to be young again. The world sure felt boundless. Ah, what a beautiful knock. Maybe if I don't answer, I'll hear it again. Ah, my patience rewards me. Ah. 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 I guess that's not going anywhere. Well, hey, 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 you over there, you, you want to tell me what's going on? I don't know, I, okay, all right, I'll see you later. Okay, bye. So something I find interesting is that the talking flower that apparently whispers to Papyrus Makes me think that maybe Flowey is behind something. Because that makes sense. I guess. No one can know. All that gives you life validation is that. Sound of water, rushing water gives you determination. I'm gonna save. Let's hang out again sometime. Okay. Well, I'm probably just gonna leave it there, everybody. We had a fun little episode where we got to go out with both Sans and Papyrus. My, the two heartthrobs of this entire game. Sans wasn't really going out. That was more like being a bruh and kind of talked. But we, at least I get to put it in the description. And it looks, you know what? That is that why you is that why you you clicked on it? I I bet it is. I I I bet it is because that's what it should be. It, bruh. So yeah. Anyway. Uh that we got to do that. And then, I don't know what's going on. Uh, I assume that the little kid over here is uh, going to be following us around for a little bit. Just because she's shown up to be kind of following us. So, I don't know what that means. Echoey flower. I don't know where that's going to go to, but... That's all for another episode. So thank you all so very much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to hit the like button and then maybe share it with your friends to show what cool people you watch on the interweebs. That's what it is, patent pending, interweebs. Comment what your favorite part was. If you're jelly that I got to go out with Sans and Papyrus, and always consider subscribing, and I will see you in the next video. Peace!